Hi folks. I've uh, decided that I'm going to move my squash plant and I got it in the wrong location, I really do. Uh, those leaves are huge and that plant hasn't stopped growing and it's not going to stop growing uh, anytime soon and it's, gonna, it's taking over the, the whole center of my, my garden and I think it would be for the best if it got moved. Now, uh, one of the good things about gardening this way is that you can move a plant if you've decided that you've made a mistake and you don't have to dig it up or anything, uh, which wouldn't be too good. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started moving this thing. So I just slid these two buckets out of the way and I've got myself an empty bucket and then I can just swap it for whatever plant I decide to change now here uh, we're looking into that empty bucket you can see there is some algae in there and <clears throat> while I had uh, my squash plant out uh, I did observe that the the roots have actually gone ahead and got, gotten into the into the water, which uh, is is normally what happens with this kind of garden. Uh, some of the roots will actually get into that water, and I don't see that as a negative. Now. Uh, as time goes on, I, I may actually lower the water level a little bit. Uh, with hydroponics, I know that they start with the water high and then gradually lower it without any, any kind of problems. Uh, and the plants seem to grow well. So I may wind up trying to do something like that. Uh, I also may not. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. So now all I have to do is decide what plant to put in there, and I think it's going to be one of my one of my lima bean plants. Uh, I'm going to put one of the lima bean plants in here. So as it turned out, uh, the lima bean plant, the buckets won't fit into the ones I used for the reservoir bucket where I planted that zucchini. So. I had to figure another one and I decided I'd put one of the okras over here. So now the okra is where, where the squash used to be. And the squash is, I think that's a better location for it. And it only took a couple of minutes and wasn't hard to do and that is one of the big advantages to gardening this way is you can <clears throat> move the plants around and pick the best location for them even after you've even if you've made a mistake as to the original positioning you can change it and as a matter of fact uh, you could even <clears throat> 